Hello, everyone. Welcome to Saturday. Welcome to What Sold Saturday. We mm -hmm. promised we'd give you one, and so we are. Here we go. In Debbie's bedroom. We are once again in my mom's bedroom because we're in Minnesota. We have been doing some insane thrifting. So definitely look forward to oh my God. the haul. haul coming this next week. Probably going to be two parts, but it's going to start Thursday. Tuesday mm -hmm. is a real, real update because I haven't done one in, in like two months. So that's what that's going to be. Thursday, crazy, 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 crazy haul coming. Oh my God, we always insane. say how like best haul ever, but like once again, this one's like... This is a good haul. It's very good. So mm -hmm. this, What's Old Saturday, covers the 8th through the 14th. And a, we're just going to dive right into it. We had a lot of sales. We're going to try to... We, like I said last time, sometimes you have an off week. Next time you have a good week. We're going to kind of try to whip through these because so we can luck. not make this too long. My first one on the 8th was this Begley Mishka floral leather tote. I'd had this for a long time. I got it way, way, way back. Mm -hmm. Sold for $50 and gave me 40 That was an offer. I had it priced way higher than that, but... I wanted it gone. Madewell Rust Tied Sleeve Sweater. This sold for 30 bucks and gave me 24 and that's okay. First, I only won on the 8th. First and only was this Koss Gray Rib Detail Crew Neck Sweater. Um, usually when I find Koss, I offer it to my mom because she loves Koss, but this one didn't fit her. Uh, sold for $22. I've heard it's pronounced Koss. Koss? C-O-S? Interesting. I don't know. Anyway, I made seventeen sixty. And that's all she wrote. On the ninth, I had six. And five. My first one was this Adidas ASOS light blue track jacket. This is from my own personal collezioni. As we say. And this sold for 45 and gave me 33.88. That was actually a pretty good amount mm -hmm. for that. Then I sold this Halston Heritage asymmetrical mini skirt. I had this forever. It actually had a ton of likes. I've been here for it. But I just I didn't want it anymore. It did have like a mark or two, and it sold for sixteen, which was an offer, and I got twelve eighty. Then this Coach Silver Campbell Turnlock Zippy Wallet sold for thirty five dollars and gave me twenty eight. That was an offer, and I didn't have too many sales that day, so I wanted to get it gone. Dooney and wallets. Burke Red Tote Handbag sold for 60 and gave me 48 that also had a lot of likes i remember when you got that this was from ryan because he couldn't sell it he had it forever now i've had it forever and it this finally sold damn it. time it's really cool it's theory and for theory this is very like very like, strange kind of off the beaten path for them oh and then again we said the big callers are in for this season Maybe that's why it went. So it's this theory. Oh, great. Doherty. Doherty. I called it the Daughtry Top. Poplin button down blouse. Sold for 37 which I think was an offer to Likers. And that gave me twenty seven forty eight. It was down to like $15 when I had it. <laughs> this host pick Kenzo leather California backpack. Black with tags. It was new with tags. It had been a host pick a few times, like I said. And mm -hmm. it sold for 120 bucks and gave me eighty eight eighty nine. That I just kept marking down every time there was like a closet clear out and it finally sold first for me in the ninth a staple piece i love these don't pay more than five dollars for them but i love them these free people january black long sleeve tops it's kind of like classic free people thermals always do so good for me it sold for 21 i made 14.68 they absolutely don't sell for a ton but it's a very quick flip next was another free people piece it was this free people galoon racerback bralette sold for 20 i made 13.88 that was an offer to likers Next, this sold to a viewer. So thank you, Kaylin. If I'm saying your name right, thank you. That was this MG Aztec open front cardigan. This was super cute. She offered me 20 and I said, thank you. I made 16. Next, this was purchased, listed, and sold in the same day. Anthropology TLA camo road trip top. It was this really cute kind of ruffly sleeve. I was going to skip it, but I told him to get it. Mm -hmm. It was this really cute ruffly sleeve uh, camo t-shirt from Anthropology. Sold for 25 which was an offer, uh, and I made 20 Next was this North Face Black Down 550 knee length parka. I probably would have tried to get a little bit more for this, but we don't have a whole lot of room in the coat closet anymore. Again, so she and like winter's me... ending. So. Mm -hmm. And she offered me 70, and I got this in the bin, so I was like, okay, made 56. See, summer stuff you can sell throughout the whole year because like People, there's always a state that has yeah, like nice. It's weather. always like warm somewhere. But winter, the winter is it's not, not like winter that. everywhere all the time. No. <laughs> so on the tenth, I had. Four. I seven. My first on the tenth was this Anthropology Maeve cactus blouse. This was this super is... cute. It was from a consignment store. And I knew it would sell super quick. Not and it did. Prices. And I sold it for thirty bucks and got twenty four. Then this Tory Birch Staffiano black large tote was a bins find. This is like the nicest Tory Birch I've ever had. It sold for a hundred and fifty and gave me one twenty. It was a nice bag. Birkenstocks 
you guys probably know how to pronounce this, I don't. Giza, Giza, probably like the Egyptian city, like, but it's spelled different. Leather thong sandals sold for 32 and gave me 25.60. Dagny Dover, which was on our, nope, just kidding. That's an upcoming video, never mind. <laughs> Um, find out camo neoprene fanny pack. We will talk about this in an upcoming video. It sold for 65 and gave me 52 and that's it for my 10th. Okay, first on the 10th was an offer. I love when you wake up to offers. It's amazing. It was this new tag yellow white one shoulder cup she swimsuit size extra large. This was a bin's fine. It was new tags and I'm a little bit more picky with bin swimsuits if they don't, if it's not like a top or if it doesn't have like the sanitary pad in the bottom. Mm. Um, that sold for 20 I made 16 Next was this Status Anxiety Plunder Crossbody. This was a Plato's Closet find, I do believe. For not much, um, listed it at 75 got an offer of 65 within two minutes, and I made $52. Next was another Bins find. It was this new tag Spanx Haute Couture High Waist Short. This retailed for 128 and I got an offer of 50 and I said, Oh, I love Spanx. It weighed literally nothing. It's like somebody handing you $40. It's amazing. Next, this is funny. This was a return. I took a picture of the like flaw and relisted it and it sold again for 32. I made 2348, which was more than I made last time. Next was this Gucci GG monogram doctor bag. This was the bag I found in the bins. Thank you everyone who saw it in one of our lives and was like, can you just list that and get it out of the sun? I know. I listed it. I sold it. She's very happy with it. She did not know how to rate me. She gave me four <laughs> stars and then said couldn't prove on like everything, which I think she meant like she did well and yeah. then her review was like thank you I'm so it, happy. she was like i loved it thank you very beautiful bag thank you and then she was like could improve packaging so i responsive to ship time <laughs> that sold for 80 i made 64 dollars. i really wasn't trying to get as much money for that i was just really trying to like get it out of the house okay next was this new tag free people helen tube mini skirt in a size large i have one more in a medium if you want one this sold for 36 i made 28.80 next i bought these for me but they didn't fit it was an urban outfitters bdg modern utility pants size six they sold for 20 i made 16. on the 11th i had four i had two my first one on the 11th were these Free People Curvy Stonewash Skinny Jeans. We had never heard of the Free People line Curvy. It's capital C-R-V-Y. Oh. It doesn't say it on the tag. It's just some styles are curvy. And I think it's there's just extra spandex in them. Like and they're them. made for like a shape, like a more shaped a, body. A real person. Um, These sold for 25 and gave me 20. They did have a little spandex wave because there's so much spandex in them. But, but that's like not that doesn't always around. rule things out for me if they're still a good like brand or style. Mm -hmm. If it's not that bad i'll still get them you know if it, they're terrible oh yeah we don't that. want like a whole ocean of waves no, 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 going no, no, on no, no, here no, no. but like we don't need a tsunami you know we just <laughs> um, need, like next was this waves. mcm leather black crossbody bag she offered me two hundred dollars these people be out here i had it Oof, i had it listed people. for like 250 i think and yeah. so i got 160 and she gave me five stars and this pair of free people sea foam platform suede sandals these i had listed for a hundred and she offered me 50 they're just so like thick and chunky and they took up a lot of room in my shoe drawer yeah. i just took it it was like that's not a terrible offer i definitely mm -hmm. could have got more and it had a lot of likes but like they were really popular i let them go and it gave me 40 bucks as long as you still making money same you know? exact thing with this not chunky but i just like i just wanted to move them along as i've been saying all year i'm not a clothing storage <laughs> i'm, I'm a clothing unit. seller <laughs> and so these new tag free people levi's counting stars jeans so cute i took 40 bucks and they gave me 32 but again i'm not here to store clothes that's not that's not my job so like, no bye first for me on the 11th was this daydreamer feminist gray crew neck pullover small i usually don't pick up daydreamer but because it said feminist on it i said someone's gonna want this and i knew they did um sold for 18 i made 1440 next was this junk food john lennon distressed gray a banty sold for 15 i made 12 and that's it on the 11th <laughs> on the 12th at <laughs> six a two first one this was a bundle and like she had a good eye we she love bought a bundle. these under armor ua play logo shorts i always say that these are like my bread and butter with mm -hmm. this lululemon pink gray defined jacket look at them gray and pink like the same shade of gray, same shade of pink, she said, both athletic. I'm she a has look. an eye. Good like I didn't even think of that. She got both of those for seventy bucks, and that gave me fifty three eighty eight. This Madewell scoop neck gray sweatshirt. This was actually given to me for free from my mom because I helped her do a lot of work in her inventory room, and she just it wasn't selling well for her, so I took it and I sold it for twenty five and got twenty. New with tag Tadashi Shoji silver embroidered dress. 
Okay. I could have got a lot more for this. I know that. I had it priced at like 223 I was kind of in an offer battle with someone who had lowballed me. But like... As it goes. I'm not a clothing store. <laughs> and so I and sold it for like, only $80. We need like a bin picker. I need like a like t-shirt banner. That How they like, like are I'm behind their bin pickers logo. Clothes. We need like, we're not a store. Do you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, sold for 80 bucks and gave me 64 That's pretty low. It was like a $500 dress, but like, I don't know. You know, you made a little money. She got a good deal. Yeah. Everybody happy. Jeffrey Campbell, Dorsey or Dorsey? Dorsey. Dorsey, Jelly Flats. I have these in glitter silver as well. But I feel like these, everybody in their mom has had these This is a very before. common pair of Jeffrey Campbell shoes. I got them so cheap. So I took 15 and got 12 on those. Tory Burch Patent Black Logo Flats. These were bins fine. They had some flaws and dirtiness to them. And it sold for only 40 bucks and gave me 32. Lug Camo Wind Jammer Nylon Tote Bag. Lug has been on a bolo list. Lug is always a bolo. Lug is wonderful. We love Lug. Within oh, four hours, like, this sold for 40 bucks and mm -hmm. gave me 32. And it got like eight likes at $50. And like two so people offered at the same time. They did. I got two offers of 35 at the same time. And I countered 40 on both and one of them took it quicker. So Okay, first in the 12th is this Patagonia four screen full zip better sweater. This sold for 40. I made 32. Had a little pillin. No problem. I noted that in my description. Next is this Lululemon Coral Crew Neck long sleeve t-shirt. This didn't have a model picture. Didn't have 100% of size. I just measured it. And it had like 50 likes. I know. Sometimes that happens. I don't understand with the Lula stuff. I uh, sold for 30 at May 24. On the 13th, that is the day we drive up here on Thursdays. Thursdays so Thursdays, Thursdays we don't have time to share really besides like once a day. No. Can't, I don't really have time to send out offers except once at night. So I made one sale, but like that's kind of expected. I made four. Okay. Well, he's in the car, so he can do all yeah, that no, while that's I'm literally driving. It. I'm in the car, so I'm sending offers to people. Um, so I sold this pair of Zara Platform Chunky Heels for 28 bucks and gave me 22.40. Zara was on our NOLO list, but still get the shoes. The shoes, shoes do a little more lenient. I mean, not the really ugly ones, no, but ma on. like the shoes usually do pretty good. Okay. First on the 13th were these Lucky Brand Black Pump Tuco. Taco? Duorce Pumps sold for 38, offered a Likers. I made 28, 28. Next, uh, she made a big old bundle and I'm very happy about it. She got a Show Me Your Moo Moo Garden of Blooms robe from the Fab Fit Pump Box. I said it. Fifty dollars. The one that I didn't get in the bins, and before I knew that it was a fat pit fun. Don't get this if you find this. No, 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 no. Do as I say, not as I do. I was. It's on my like lengthy Poshmark to do list of things to mark down. New tag Kate Spade Lita black white striped tote and the Anthropology bird print novelty short sleeve top. Two of those things are in the bins: the robe and the top and the bag. I got for a wicked good deal. At Play-Doh's Closet. She offered me $150. I said, thank you very much. I made $120. Next on the 13th, this is why relisting works. You make $15 sales. Um, it was this Anthropology Denim Bow Clara midi dress. I found this in the bins. I had it forever. I had no attention. I relisted it because I'm trying to be better about that. And I got an offer of $15. And I said, and away she goes. I made 12 14th, I had five. And this is the last day of the week. One, two, three, four, five. I had five. My first one was this North Face Black Down Puffer Jacket. This was my one that I've had a little bit longer. I have another one that's small. It sold for 50 bucks and gave me a 40. Frame Denim White Le Skinny De Jean. De Jean, Skinny jeans in um, France. Distressed. In France. I accepted $40 <laughs> offer on these because they're white and white jeans. It Which doesn't really matter the brand. They just they don't, don't do that very good. good anymore. So I got 32. Rag and Bone Boyfriend Dre jeans. I accepted 30 because these were quite a bit older and these were the ones that had the outline in the back pocket of an iPhone 5. So they're quite old. We love. And I got 24. <laughs> North Face Fleece Bomber Hoodie sold for 56. Give me 42.68. That was me sending out an offer. Current Elliot. Yes, this was just on the NOLO list. This doesn't put it off the NOLO list. It's still a NOLO. Mm -mm. Current Elliot, the boyfriend, loved wash jeans. This sold, these sold for 40 and gave me 32. Again, it's Current Elliot, so I was like, get out of my house. I and two pairs of Current Elliot jeans. I just today. noticed that whole day was just North Face and jeans. Interesting. My day is literally all over the place. <laughs> we doing circles. Okay, so first off was this Free People Beach gray Henley cowl neck top. She comes and she goes, you know? Free People Beach, beach has got waves. She comes and goes and waves. So for 30, I made 2188. Is that that top that we both had like a hundred yeah, times? Yeah, that gray one with the big like whoop. And Raise just your hand if you've had this before. <laughs> and I just use the same model picture. Raise your hand if you've had it twice. 
or more. Every time, same model picture. Let us know amazing. if you've had this before, because I feel like mm -hmm. everyone has. Next, I'm mad. These were for me. I tried them on. They were a TJ Maxx find, and they didn't fit, so I sold them. New tag, Vince cropped black cotton drawstring pants. I sent out 85 with for reshipping, and she said, yes, I made, well, no, discount shipping. I made 60.89. Next were these new without tag mother jeans, the curfew mid-rise flare mm. jeans. These honestly sold a lot quicker than I thought they were going to. Um, I got a $55 offer on them. I said, yes, I made $44. This was a day of jeans. Mm. Day of pants, day of denim. Next were these Fabletics mesh insert power hold leggings. The power hold leggings, if you find them, are the ones that do the best. Um, I got an offer of $20 and I said, sure. So I made 16. Fabletics leggings can like do really good, but just don't expect like Lululemon athletic no, no, money. No, 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 But no, they no. do, don't get you unless up. you have black ones. High rise black ones, those can get you about like 40 bucks. 35 to 40, but I would say. The leggings do do pretty good. Just mm -hmm. again, not as high. Next was from my personal collection, um, was this Vineyard Vines Blue Nylon Shep Jacket. It had, I didn't realize, like a little something right here, so I had Janet fix it. Noted it in my description. I said it had been fixed. Sold for 30 I made $24. Okay, so my gross week. from Poshmark for the week was $14.99. It was ten thirty seven. That's a crazy good week for you. I today. know. And... Nintendo's gonna sue us. I swear to God. We're gonna get a cease and desist from them. My net. Was $1,183.61. Mine was $817.12. As usual, that's. 72 cents. <laughs> I can't wait. As, as usual, that does not count what we paid for the items. Nope. Taxes. Nope. Anything like that. That it was just. But it is after shipping, shipping discounts fees. and. I will say. I've had a few fees. people yell at me for that in the past. But yeah. So let us know how your week was, was for the week Valentine's of the Day? 8th through the 14th. And how was your Valentine's Day? I hope you had did a good you one. Anything? How did was you your a, Jack Valentine's did Day? Did you have a Valentine's Day? Did you have a stay at Singles home Singles Awareness Day? Day? Did you have a, val a Jack Valentine's Day? Let us know. And thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss the real real video yes. and the amazing hauls that we have mm -hmm. coming up. We have a ton of videos lined we up. We got a so lot. Y'all get ready. We ain't gonna be skipping any no, days no. anytime soon. We got a lot coming. Follow us on good Instagram. Stuff. Thank you for watching. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.